So guys, I'm using my third generation Fire TV Cube. I'm going to install one of my streaming applications. I just want you to fully understand how aggressive Amazon are now blocking certain applications. So let's click on install. Let's give that a second. That's now installed. So let's now start a countdown of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can see now, guys, in less than five seconds, as soon as this application gets installed on my third generation Fire TV Cube, it's now instantly blocked for me. The last video, which I did on Saturday, just showcased that this is now starting out maybe in certain areas, maybe on certain devices, but of the last you know 48 hours i've just had so many comments on that video so many people all over the world running different versions of fire os using different devices different applications are now all coming up with this same message so what can we do well i've now gone through all of the comments in that video i mean there was nearly 500 of them so i can answer the most common questions you guys have so everything from which applications are impacted? Are there certain versions which are still working? Is Amazon doing this now to stop illegal streaming? Is it actually a malware issue or viruses? Is there anything you can do on your device to stop these updates? What is the future of third-party streaming on these devices? So I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video. The only thing I would suggest is that make sure you are subscribed with all notifications because Things are going to be moving very quickly. If there is a potential workaround or potential fix, if you have subscribed with all notifications, you'll get the update straight away. So now there is some debate whether the purpose behind this is Amazon trying to stop malware on your devices or whether it's Amazon trying to stop piracy apps on your devices. The only thing that there's no debate on, Amazon have the complete control to block any application that they like. They can say it's because of malware, they can say it's because of something else, but what's happened over the last 48 hours just fully demonstrates that Amazon have that complete control to disable or block any application that they like, like they did before with Launcher Manager, and now we can see they're doing it with third-party streaming applications. Now, the first thing you'll notice that on my device, we can see, just to confirm that, it is the third generation Fire TV Cube, and this is running Fire OS 7. Now, one of the questions I had in the comments is, you know, are they targeting certain devices? But I can now categorically say Fire OS 6, latest version, Fire OS 7, and Fire OS 8 are all impacted by this new change. And I've also confirmed that this has impacted all devices, Fire Stick Max, Fire TV, 4K Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, second generation, third generation. There's been comments from people with those devices all confirming they now have this issue. Okay, now that we've confirmed that, the other thing I noticed that when you actually go to your settings, when you go to your applications, the way this application will now show in the list is you'll see a small icon next to it. It has this exclamation mark just telling you that it's been disabled and there's now nothing you can do about it other than just uninstall the application or leave it on your device, but in a disabled state. So as you can see here, there's no way for me to actually try to launch this application because if I click on this, I go back to the same box, which only gives me the option to uninstall it or again, keep it in a disabled state. Now, before I show you the list of applications, let me do a quick test to show you why I believe that certain applications are being targeted while other applications, like maybe your cinemas, like maybe your bees, maybe are not at the moment. If I go into this, let's now uninstall this application. That's now uninstalled. So I should be removed from my system. And let me now install another application, which I won't mention, but as you can see here, if I install this one, now, unlike the other one, when this one finishes, I won't do a countdown, but and let's see if on this version of this application, do I see that warning straight away or within 10 seconds, or as I believe it's not gonna happen on this version. Let's do done. No pop-up at the moment. I can press home. And really probably the first indication is if I go to my app library, you can see now, we actually see the icon for it because you know if it is disabled straight away, you don't even see it as an application in your application library. Now, before I explain what that actually means, let me show you on the screen what I believe are the current impacted applications with this particular change. So this is the list based on your comments, your feedback of the applications which are currently in this new Amazon block list. So 
those app names, those application versions, as soon as you try to install them, when your device has this particular update, because of that blacklist, they will be instantly disabled. Now, naturally, what that implies is maybe a different version of those applications, maybe those ones may still continue to work. And just jumping back to my device, we can see when I installed that different version, my device still hasn't prompted me or told me that anything is wrong. And that application is still on my device. Now, one of the other comments that somebody left was, they said that make sure you turn this setting off because as soon as you turn this setting off, this will then stop Amazon from blocking these applications. But I can tell you 100% that setting makes zero difference to what's actually happening here. That's inside your privacy settings and it's the manage sharing from application. And we can see on my device, that setting is set to off. So that really makes no difference to these applications being blocked from Amazon. So what really is the issue causing these applications from being blocked and why it's not impacting other streaming applications today? Well, let's talk more about the malware theory that AFTV News posted on his website. If I just jump to that now, and we can see he posted an article saying that Amazon blocks the use of two popular apps likely due to embedded malware. Now, just scrolling down, we can see that Amazon has blacklisted two of the popular piracy applications. Those ones there are spotted by YouTube or TikTok UK. It's got a link to my latest video. And it's saying that by doing so, these apps become disabled and unusable shortly after being sideloaded. As we saw in real time, it takes less than 10 seconds. They are aggressively scanning your device for these applications. As soon as they detect them, they instantly disable them. And he says that Amazon have been blacklisting and remotely disabling specific Fire TV apps since at least 2016. So it's not a new thing for them. They've got that ability, any application that they like or they think is dangerous or it thinks hurts their ad revenue, they can remotely just disable that for you. Now he's saying as far as he's aware, this is the first time a streaming application has now, you know, gone into this category because these applications don't have the ability to bypass the home screen or remap home buttons. So why are they targeting these two applications? He says that obviously Amazon block piracy applications from getting into the official Amazon app store. You're not really going to find these kind of applications there, but why would it now focus or single out these two applications where there's many other third party applications, third party piracy applications still out there? What's so special about these two? Now, this is where it gets into the actual detail where he shows that this first application, this one has been known and there's full evidence that this application does actually use resource monetizing services. What that basically means is if this application is on your device, it can use the resources of it to maybe become an internet proxy gateway, maybe to do illegal ad clicking, really allowing the developer to take control of your device. So if people are installing this particular application, which has that built in, you can see why this would be a very critical reason for Amazon to quickly block this. Because if you can imagine how many people have these Amazon Fire TV devices, if they install this application, you now potentially have a botnet of, you know, tens or hundreds of thousands of devices out there, allowing the developer to monitor and control them. And we can see that they'll be using your device CPU and network traffic whilst the app is running. So that does look a very plausible reason why this application would have been added very quickly to that block list. And he goes on to say that it seems far more likely that Amazon have targeted these or disabled these two applications. Now we know at the moment there's more than two, there's at least I think four or five now which have been confirmed. And if all of them are involved in the same illegal resource monetization, residential proxy providing, if they're involved in this, then again, you can see why Amazon would want to very quickly disable them because many people, and I would say the majority, would not suspect anything. They'll just hear that this application provides the latest content, the latest movies, the latest TV shows. They'll install it on their device, but unknowing to them, their device will now be acting or under the control of these developers. So you can see this is a very credible theory and AFTV News Elias normally is very on point with the information that he provides. Either way, I think the original point that I made that uh, it does show that any time, you know, you think you own these devices, but Amazon ultimately hold the keys and from wherever they are, they can now quickly add in any application that they like into this new blacklist. And from that point forward, you're now no longer allowed to run the application on your device. Doesn't matter you paid for it. Doesn't matter you bought the device with your hard earned money. Amazon ultimately do have that overarching control. The only thing I would suggest that just with the amount of viruses and malware, especially when you are installing modded versions of 
you know, certain applications, it is always just advisable to use a VPN. Using a VPN means that you're now using encryption on your device. It means you're now no longer using your own IP address, which is really your online digital fingerprint. Rather, when you enable a VPN, you are now using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And using this IP address, you can now unlock geolocked content. You can unlock Netflix libraries and really just get the most from your streaming device. Right now, there's a super special offer for the VPN I personally recommend where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps. All of them can be covered with the VPN and to get all of that for just over $2 a month. I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.